In this video, we shall see the current mirror circuits using LT spice. So, we are considering uh, the basic current mirror circuit using the uh, NMOS as the active devices. So, this is a current uh, source I reference. This is a M1 transistor with drain connected to gate, and this is M2 transistor. And we are trying to have a copy of the current I reference onto this I copy. So, as we know in the previous uh, uh, video, this I copy depends on the I reference and the WBL ratio of uh, M1 and M2. So, we shall go to uh, LT Spice and try to rig up a circuit diagram which is identical over here. So, let us uh, go to LT Spice and then try to measure or try to rig up the circuit diagram. So, this is uh, okay. Let me select the NMOS uh, transistor. So, I am taking NMOS 4. So, this is first transistor let me rotate this control e i've done the control e i'm placing it here i'll do again control e so that now it comes here like this now as you know that this is gate the corresponding to this this is source and this is source drain so let me have a current source the current source i can get it from again the library where the current source is over here so let me take this current source and place it over here. Now this is the current source. Now let me make the connection. So in order to make the connection, let me make this source to source. Gate is connected to gate. And this is connected to drain. The drain is connected to gate over here. And let me take uh, two voltage sources. One is for M1 and other is for M2. Now let me uh, connect that again. So I am connecting this to V2. This is done. Now let me connect this to ground. So this is also grounded. Now it is done. Now let me do this connection. Now me connect this bulk to source bulk to source here now let me just make this voltage source as 1.8 this is 1.8 ohms let me make this also as 1.8 this is also 1.8 now let me take this current as 1 milliampere so this is the current now let me adjust this W by L as uh, uh, 1 U and uh, let this be 250 micro sorry 250 U. So this is fine. So let me do the same thing for this also. So it is 1 U and uh, 250 micro. It is done. So let me take the model file. So let me type it as dot model nmos space nmos open the parenthesis write kp is equal to 100 u and then the to is equal to 0 0.4 so this is done now we have made the dimensions of both m1 m2 is equal to uh, 250 so using the equations using the equation of uh, see now the important equations are this uh, equation where we are trying to find this is id is given by half mu and c ox w well into vgs minus vth so we can actually estimate the value of vgs so vgs is equal to vth plus under root of so on, uh, under root of 2 id by mu and c ox into w well so considering WBL as uh, uh, 250 and uh, uh, ID as 1 milliampere uh, with VTH as 0 0.4 volt and mu and CX as 200. So let us try to find out what is the value of VGS which is uh, coming in the simulation. So let me find out what is the uh, value that we are getting. So let me have it here. So of course I need to have a ground here. So I am connecting a ground at this point. Now let me make this connection from this to this it is done so i had to do 
an analysis. So let me first do only DC operating conditions. I'm just uh, having this dot op. If I run, now we can see the ID of M2, which is over here, so is exactly 1 milliampere. Let us also find what is VGS here. I can say this is 0.68. Okay, we cannot make out okay, what is this voltage. For that, what we can do is we can have a uh, label connected here. So we are unable to make out what is VGS. So for that, what I'll do is I'll take a label and uh, type it as VX. So it's a voltage at the gate point. So let me just write it here. So this is with respect to ground, this voltage happens to be VGS. Now let me again run it. Now we can see VX is uh, actually 0.682843. So this is the voltage that is there at this point. If you actually calculate uh, the value of VGS, this value of VGS happens to be 0.68 what is being indicated in the, uh, this is actually the voltage at this point. You can see the current here in uh, ID of M1. ID of M1 is uh, 1 milliampere. ID of M2 is also 1 milliampere. So meaning that whatever current that is coming here is being reflected here. Now what I'll do, I'll let me change the dimension of uh, M2 from 250 to 500. If I make it this equal to 500. Now since this ratio uh, M2 by M1, that is W bell of 2 by W bell of 1 is a 2. We are supposed to get 2 milliamperes at M2 for 1 milliampere flowing in M1. Let me run this and see here. So this is the current that is flowing in M1 which is 1 milliampere. The current that is flowing in M2 is 2 milliamperes. So that's why uh, by changing the dimension of uh, M1, M2 we can able to get the required current. Suppose if I make this back to uh, 250. So let me make it 250 and if I make this, if I make this as uh, the dimension of this as 500, uh, if I make this 500, now since the ratio is a uh, 0.5, the current happens to be 0.5 milliampere here. If I run it here, so you can see the M2 is 0 0.005, which is actually 0.5 milliampere, whereas the current flowing in M1 is 1 milliampere. So this way we can change the dimensions of the uh, MOSFET M1, M2. We can able to get the required current. Required current over here. So let me also find what is uh, the minimum voltage that you should keep it across M2 VDS. So, so that uh, this the current that is what is required is mirrored over here. So let me make it equal to 250. And this is also 250 here now. So let me make this also. 250 microampere. So let me, sorry, this is 50 uh, micrometer. So let me sweep this voltage. Uh, okay, this is fine. Let me change the edit simulation command. So let me take this DC sweep. The voltage source is V2 here. So let me make this V2. This is linear sweep. Start from 0 to 1.8 in steps of uh, 0 0.01 volt. If I do this now, now you can see, if I'm doing a dot DC uh, analysis, now you can see once I do this dot DC, this dot OP is becoming common. If I run it, upon running you can see now this is from 0 to 1.8, which is the voltage of V2. If I actually see the current going through this, now this is the current what you're looking at. See now, the current is exactly 1 milliampere over here. See, this is 1 milliampere. This is a VDS, which is 900 millivolt. Now, I can see now the voltage here is keep on changing. Now it is 1.3. Now the MOSFET is in saturation. We know that for this MOSFET to remain in saturation, which is over here, so the required voltage is uh, now here the voltage VX is. Uh, let me just find out what the voltage at this point. Now the voltage VX is, as you can see, the voltage is 682.8 millivolts. The minimum voltage uh, across VDS to keep it in saturation is this minus 400, which happens to be uh, 382. So just have a look at the current. 
so what i'll do so let me just move this graph now it is on vx so let me put it on now you can see this is moving on the current sorry this is the second graph which is moving on vx now you can see this is the first cursor which is now moving on id just have a look at okay at what voltage this current becomes exactly equal to 1 milliampere just have a look at this current which is uh, the cursor uh, 1 the cursor 1 is moving on the cursor 1 is moving on the uh, green line see here now the current is exactly close to 1 milliampere see what is the voltage here the voltage is 277 now when the now what is this it is actually the vgs is 683 minus 400 happens to be 280 so when it is exactly close to see now it is 284 the current is 1 milliampere let me make it equal to 284 now you can see it is 293 the current is exactly 1 milliampere so whenever now you can see it is 287.48 millivolts the current is exactly 999.975 microampere which is close to 1 milliampere that means to say if the current has to exactly mirror on to m2 this vds should be in this mosfet m2 should be in the saturation condition if it is uh, if the vds is more than uh, voV then mosfet remains in saturation the current remains constant if this v vds if this vds is less than 0.288 in this case so this is now you can see the current is reducing the current is less than 1 1 milliampere which is 900 micro amperes here so likewise so we can do a dot dc analysis where we are sweeping this voltage source and we are trying to find the current that is coming over here is exactly uh, the current that is uh, over here because the ratios are same suppose if i change the ratio of, of this to 500 see here let me make it equal to 500 now the current will double to current will become 2 milliampere let me run it now you can see the current is 2 milliampere can you see the current is 2 milliampere so when does this becomes 2 milliampere it's exactly at 288 millivolts you can see here this is almost uh, 179 this is almost close to 1.99 if you go close to 288 can you see the old the current is exactly equal to see here if i make it equal to 288 sorry 283 see now it is almost very very close to 2 milliamperes meaning to say if the current has to properly mirror onto m2 the vds of second transistor should be equal to vov if it is more than vov no problem the minimum voltage should be vov if it is less than VOV, the current is less than what is to be mirrored. So let us also have a look at okay, what is the effect of lambda on this. If I substitute the value of lambda over here as LA M B B A is equal to 0 0.01. If I run it now, now we can see the current is slightly changing. The current is slightly changing. You are looking at a current which is 2 milliampere this will be exactly 2 milliampere when this voltage is exactly 682 just have a look at 682 have a look at this 682 which is now 700 now when it is equal to 682 the current is exactly 2 milliampere now it is 2 milliampere now here we can see the current that will be mirrored over here whatever current is there will be properly mirrored when the v d s of this is equal to v d s of this because lambda parameters is coming into picture the v d s of this is equal to v d s of this then only we will get a proper mirroring suppose if you look at uh, point, point 0.282 which is the necessary condition to keep the MOSFET in saturation current condition now you can see it is 282 somewhere here now the current is slightly less than 2 milliampere it is almost close to 2 milliampere now why it is not exactly 2 means because it is the voltage at V D S of uh, this transistor that is the V D S of M2 is not equal to V D S of M1 because V D S of M1 is 
0.682 here it is 0.2 both are in saturation since it is not equal to this we 